Hey guys, it's Rudy from Roots in the Pharmacy. So basically I've been getting a lot of questions about how I went from this to this study guide. Um, so basically this is just gonna be another installment in my digital note taking video series. And basically I'm gonna show you how I digitally study my drug cards. So 75% um, of the time with my drug cards, it is done digitally. So either on my laptop or on my iPad. And then in the end for very, very important things like side effects, I like to hand write those out. So stay tuned and look at it. So step one is basically the Quizlet for naming. Um, basically I'm going through and making sure that I know all the names because that's obviously the first part in actually studying the drugs. I don't know anything else, I just know the names. Um, luckily working in a retail and hospital pharmacy has helped a lot and I can kind of guesstimate on things. So right now I'm just going through and I do the multiple choice as well as the type out names so that I also know how to spell them. is writing out on the whiteboard the names that I'm having trouble just piecing together and this is typically because their brand and um, generic names just don't match whatsoever so I make up little mnemonics <laughs> is kind of annotating what I've already written out just to help with the different mnemonics that I've made. The next step is classes. So I, what I typically do is I try to find some relation between the name of the class and the actual name of the drug. So oxcarbazepine is a dibenzazepine carboxamide. So that helps me in relation to understanding what class it is. And I just continuously do that throughout the um, study guide. You'll also notice that I like to highlight the scheduled drugs um, just to know, you know, what the C4, C3, etc. Because that's also an important part of um, knowing the drug. You also need to know what schedule it is and we're typically tested on that as well. <laughs> I also like to highlight um, drugs who have the same classes so that I can know the difference between the two so that that doesn't trip me up when I'm like in class or at work and I get asked about something and what the difference is between the two. Once I feel solid enough with naming classes and indications, I use the write function versus the multiple choice function on Quizlet, which allows me to just type out every single drug um, in order to answer the question. This really helps with learning how to spell them and just testing my knowledge based on what I know for sure because I don't have the other choices to help. All right, so the last thing on the list is side effects and counseling points slash um, self-monitoring parameters so I personally like to write these out in order um, and categorize them by you know um, parts of the body and then I color coat and kind of highlight slash um, color very 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 important things such as like Steven Johnson syndrome or cardiac arrest now the only thing left to do is actually take my drug quiz um, I hope this helped and answered the questions about um, you know how I actually study my drug cards I plan on filming another video about studying for my PK final so Thanks for watching guys.